crazy. Did you just spill the food all on the floor? Yes. So you did, Mom, and I'm proud because it got a little extra snack. It's not the point. Mom's trying to feed you and you're making it hard. You are, and you're making it hard. Can you please sit down? All right. Let's see, let's turn some lights on. It's a little dark in here. All right, girly friends, let's have breakfast, giraffe. Cool. So it's taking me a minute. It's already raining again, so these guys are not going to go out. So it's fine to take a little bit longer. But I guess they'll let them out of their pins. This last little drizzle should be the last of it for at least a while. It just keeps kind of popping up. You can kind of see. I don't know if you can see. It's raining just a little bit. Enough to keep these guys from going outside at least right now. There will be a point where if it's this way and they're hungry, they'll go out. But I doubt. That's gonna happen first thing this morning. All right, let's let you guys out for the day. need to do that today. I may leave them one more day. I haven't seen anything that shows, says to me that she's in heat at all. There's been some butt sniffing. I just don't think she's having strong enough heat. And so when we're at a place where we could breed for May, June with her, we may see if there's like a shot I can give her to force her to come into heat. We'll see if maybe she'd have a nice strong heat. What I know is that she got pregnant in November and we had babies in February. And so it may be that cooler temperatures for her are helpful for her to have a real strong heat. She's had some heats, obviously, not near as strong as the one where she got pregnant. Pork chops have been mounting her all those times, but just by like swelling, it just didn't seem like they were as strong as that particular heat. They need to be separated for a while. It's really difficult at this point to manage pasture if I can't keep them together which was why I wanted her pregnant for August so that we could get through pasture season and they could all be together. All right then waffles. You gotta do it this way or you guys will knock all the food off the ground. You will.
rain's starting to pick up a little bit. Pork chop, is that good? Buddy, I don't know if I know anybody that enjoys breakfast as much as you. And your pig cereal. Is it cereal or is it oatmeal? It's probably more like cereal. Those goats will eat that breakfast and they will be back in their little house. Still warm. It's 80 something. Even with this rain and cloud cover. I was hoping to be able to finish mowing the front yard. This morning we push mowed it a little bit last night. Our robot mower has had some issues and it just shut itself off when we were gone for some reason. So it didn't mow at all for eight days, for probably five or six days. And so we were kind of push mowing sections of the front yard to give it a reset. I don't think these guys are gonna come outside. Well, I guess it's really gonna rain. It's the human indoors. We got our hot tub set up last night. I think I talked about that in the last video. And it is running now. And I'm coming to kind of get used to hearing it. Oh guys, it's pouring rain. Mom, is it all wet? Okay, so that I give you guys an update on Link. So the day before we left, so this is Link. We took him to the vet to have his horn trimmed. You guys know that this this side of his face, this horn was like right on not on his eye, but right above, touching his head. He has what we call scurs. So what happened is we disbudded him as a baby and this was my poor disbudding job. I probably should have redone it once I realized it didn't take. But for the most part, scurs aren't a huge issue unless they do things like grow to your base. So thankfully, this ended up being a pretty easy fix for him since it was just the tip of his horn that we were concerned about. Yeah, it was, it wasn't so bad. See, the worst part was mom put me in the car. I did not like that at all. But he did so well, and I wish I had filmed it, but the, there was no vet tech that day, so I was helping hold him. <laughs> Trouble maker. So I didn't really film anything. All the vet did was take a piano wire and just trimmed the tip. So what he did was just sawed off the little tip of his horn that was close to his face. And his goal was to trim it as far back as he could without it bleeding. And so it didn't bleed. And then he took a hoof trimmer, so like a grinder, and smoothed off the end and the inside. So hopefully, if it, as it continues to grow, it will grow beside his face, not into his face. Because we are at a point probably where there's Obviously the horn grows from the base, not from the end. And so there, we're kind of at the place where we could trim it and it not bleed. So we may have to go back in a couple of years, but for now we're in good shape, aren't we, Bub? He did really good. He didn't fight it, didn't scream. He made no noise, he was so funny. And just a little bit about Link, because you guys are asking some questions. So Link is Zelda's baby. He's yours, isn't he? He's the first one of hers I think we had on the farm. And he's a weather. And the whole reason that we have him, because we don't usually keep weathers, Bean didn't have a buddy. So we had two other bucks that were black and one was pulled and one was horned. And one of those, it was Pixie's dad. So we had two different ones. I had a pulled buck because I had a pulled doe and I really wanted pulled genetics in our herd. Didn't we buddy? They're the sweetest. I didn't know a lot about their genetics overall. If they were good bucks or not, uh, just looking at them, they looked good, but they came from a farm that like didn't show, didn't pay attention to pedigrees. Which when we got started, that was all we were kind of after, was just try it out, see if we like it. So when we bought Nani, or Bunny <laughs> and Nani, they're both gardening goats. The person that was selling was selling her whole herd and Bean was a young buck that was for sale. He was also a gardening goat buck. So he was much better quality, at least from what we could tell than the bucks that we had. And I sold the other two bucks and kept him. And so for a while, his only companion was Porkchop and Porkchop's brother. And that year we had, I think all boys, we maybe had one girl. I don't remember, I'm trying to think. You were a single, Cece had triplet boys. 
Twiz has always had boys except for uh, Tiny and Pixie, so she had boys. And then, are you and Pixie the same age? No, you wouldn't be. Bunny's had all boys but Padme, and then this year, Toffee. Tink was the next year. Tink and Padme are the same age, and I think Pixie is a year older than Link. Poppy. Poppy was the girl that year. She was my only girl. You were. It was just you. So he was a bean baby and Poppy were a bean baby, so we kept him to be with Bean so that Bean would have a goat friend. And then about a year later, we bought Luke. And so then I didn't really need him as a weather, but it's very difficult to sell a single weather, to be honest. Boys are hard to sell in general. So somebody might've picked him up as a meat goat, just not about the meat goats. So I'm fine with it. I just wouldn't be good selling one of mine to be eaten. And so he ended up just being a weather and he lived with the girls once Luke came along. The two bucks just absolutely tortured him, didn't they, Bubba? And he was very scared of humans and very timid because he lived with bucks who wasn't handled all the time. Now that he's back with the girls, what I've been doing every day is feeding him a cookie or two while I milk the girls and now he's my best friend, which is really funny. So it tells you, even though he was not a tame goat and he loves me now. It's doable, you just have to work at it. So that looks really nice. You can see there's plenty of room between his head and his horn now. No point on it. He also ground down the tip of this horn just so it wouldn't be pokey, which was nice. Didn't he? So it was so good. So you don't have to end any anesthesia and I didn't bleed. That's good. So that's why he's in with the girls now. It's just because so many bucks tend to not be a good fit. And three bucks over there is plenty for that pen. It is, it's plenty. So he gets to hang out here with the girls because he can't get anybody pregnant. He and Pepperoni. I was really worried when I took him that he was gonna need like some additional help after and that my father-in-law and parents were gonna have to take care of that while we were gone. But thankfully he didn't and he's just done great and I've been working with him. Knowing I was gonna have to take him was when I started working with him with the treats because I knew that having to chase him around and him like not wanting to be anywhere near me was gonna make taking him to the vet really, really difficult. And since our farm vets really no longer wanna come out on calls. And like for some just reference, it costs $35 to have that done, which is really cheap, but it's an extra 50 to $100 to have the vet come to your house and then do that. So, but our, our vet really has quit coming out unless it's just impossible for you to get the go in. And I was a little bit worried that that would be the case with him. But say I did good on the leash. I'm a tweet boy. Oh no, I'm so tweet. He's my buddy now. Like this is literally just feeding him cookies every day. And feeding him in a pen. So locking him in the pen over here, feeding him breakfast and then constantly like feeding him a cookie all the time while I'm milking. So like every time I would let it go down, I would give him a cookie through the pen. And so now we're friends. So it's a really great strategy if you can pin a goat up and feed it treats and food and not stand there and mess with it. Like I don't lock him in the pen and then force affection on him. Just food. <laughs> Pairing me with food and this is what you get. You can definitely tame them. It just takes a while. And some goats are less friendly than others just by disposition. That's fine. Ow, you're biting me. Don't bite. So that is Link's whole story.